What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and today I want to talk to you a little more about the Snyder Cut and what we could have had with Justice League. Now, if you've seen a live stream I did in the past with uh, three other gentlemen, you may know that I am one of the four horsemen of Zack Snyder, trying to bring awareness to release the Snyder Cut. Um, that was a great meme done by the Senate. Go check him out on Twitter for a bunch of great memes. But today, Zack Snyder, you know, on Saturday in the middle of New York Comic Con, just casually released on Vero like he does often, um, a little part of the storyboard that people didn't know before. And uh, I got... This was brought to me by uh, OG Mara Jade over on Twitter, who has a great Twitter account, but uh, she tagged me in this. And so thank you to her. I'm glad uh, that she was able to do that because I gave me some content for today. But let me pull it up right here. So Justice League, Zack Snyder reveals Harry Lennox, General Swanwick was secretly Martian Manhunter. Um, so there's been rumors and theories about that and... Um, Harry Lennox, actually, I kind of shot those down. I was like, nah, I'm not Martian Manhunter, right? So no one thought he was. But, of course, like everything in Zack Snyder's DC Expanded Universe, there were so many characters that he introduced along the way. Um, and this would have just been one of them. So Zack Snyder's revealed Harry Lennox, General Swanwick, was going to be revealed as Martian Manhunter in Justice League. On his Vero account, Zack Snyder posted a storyboard of a cut of Justice League, uh, involving Harry Lennox, Martian Manhunter, with a cheeky ch caption that emphasized how fans were not aware of this. In the Justice League storyboard, Martha Kent and Lois Lane can be seen speaking to each other, but only for it later to be revealed the former, so that Martha Kent was actually Martian Manhunter. After he briefly reveals that he's Martian Manhunter, he transforms back into uh, General Swanwick. Um, and so you can see that right here. I went ahead and pulled it up. Uh, this is the capture of Zack Snyder's posting. Uh, as you can see, they're kind of talking. This is just from the storyboard, right? Um, they're kind of talking, and you know, after Martha Kent leaves Lois Lane, she transforms into Martian Manhunter and then into General Swanwick, which is awesome. Um, and then right here, Zack Snyder says, I was able to shoot all of it except for the Harry Lennox side. It was his intention to get it done in LA. So he would just needed the one more scene of him, you know, actually becoming Harry Lennox. Uh, it's, it's so cool. You know, we talked about on my live stream where we talked about the Snyder Cut, we talked about all the different characters and how we got to see Apocalypse as part of that um, and how, you know, Ryan Cho was introduced, who's the Atom. Um, it, it, it's clear that Zack Snyder was setting up so many things going forward. Um, quite a bit has been cut from Justice League, but the fact that fans were robbed of an official reveal of Martian Manhunter is just disappointing. It should be noted that Harry Lennox General Swinnick did not appear in the theatrical cut of Zack Snyder's Justice League, though it's entirely possible his scenes were cut and his presence in the film is just now being revealed to fans. Well, I don't, uh, I, I don't think that's accurate because you literally, you know, just said, uh, we just had from Zack Snyder said he wasn't able to actually film Harry Lennox's side of that. So I don't know about that. Seeing as we've never seen Martian Manhunter on the big screen before, this could have been a monumental occasion. Details regarding Snyder's Justice League and Martian Manhunter are slim apart from this. However, seeing as fans are no doubt getting excited over his inclusion in the film, we can hopefully expect Zack Snyder to reveal more as time passes. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I understand there, there's a lot of people that didn't necessarily like Zack Snyder's movies. Um, I loved them, and I was really disappointed with what we got in Justice League. I am a big uh, advocate for releasing the Snyder cut. Um, not that that's going to change anything or fix anything going forward, um, but, you know, for a lot of us that were really invested in kind of that story that Zack Snyder was telling for what we got with Joss Whedon's cut of Justice League, it just doesn't connect anything. So I would love it. I, you know, even if the visual effects aren't completely done, the story is there. I would love to see Zack Snyder's vision um, because I love Man of Steel and BVS. But what do you guys think? Are you an advocate for releasing the Snyder Cut like me? Or do you think it should be stayed locked away and never thought of again? Are you interested that Martian Manhunter would have been officially introduced in the DCU? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to send me something, that's awesome. Check out my PO box in the description below. Also find my links to Twitter and Instagram and follow me there. Can't wait to hear from you guys.